What's a Tesla? It's the unit of magnetic field. Okay, but what's the breakdown? You know, kilograms, meters, seconds, coulombs. How much is it? Let's take a formula where we know everything but the magnetic field in terms of its units. Force equals QVB sine theta. That's the force on a moving point charge. Now we know that force is in newtons. We know that charge is in coulombs. We know velocity is in meters per second. And B we're saying is in teslas. And sine theta doesn't have any units. So if we're going to solve that, we would get Newton times second over Coulomb meter. And a Coulomb per second is an ampere, so we can also call it a Newton per amp meter. And that is a Tesla. Uh, a Tesla is a very strong field. It's like a pick up a car magnet kind of strength field. Uh, they put you in like three Teslas, six Teslas in an MRI. The Earth's magnetic field is only about 5 times 10 to the minus 5 teslas. Since that's so small, we actually have a smaller unit. 1 gauss is 10 to the negative 4 teslas, and so Earth's magnetic field is about half a gauss. That varies place to place on Earth's surface. So that's what a tesla is and what a gauss is. One more related point. Uh, what's mu zero? We've got a formula like the magnetic field of a long straight wire, mu naught i over 2 pi r. Well, let's follow the units. B is in tesla, then we've got mu naught has some weird dimensions, current is in amps, and radius is in meters, and 2 pi is just a number. So tesla meter per amp are the dimensions, the units of mu zero. And the number value is that mu zero is four pi times 10 to the negative seventh tesla meter per amp. That's the number that says how strong magnetism is. So you might say, well, why is it exactly four pi times 10 to the minus seven? It turns out we defined an ampere so that that would work. So that's the really basics of what a tesla is and what mu naught is.